Not Open Eye. My name is Griff. And I'm Melissa. And today we are talking about five essential things cruise lines need to do to start attracting more millennials on their cruises. And no, we're not talking about some crazy dubstep. <laughs> Fist pumping. No fam like shit. Music festival. On a boat. There's no fam like In the middle of the ocean. We're talking about awesome things that will make all of us happy. And since we're millennials, we figured we'd give you guys the scoop. Number one, free Wi-Fi. I'm so surprised this isn't a thing yet. Personally, I'm kind of offended. Listen, I get why people don't want Wi-Fi on a vacation in the first place. You just kind of want to unplug. No Facebook status updates. No emails from work. Plus, I imagine free high-speed internet being pretty expensive on the ship's behalf. But here's the breakdown. In a recent survey, 67% of travelers listed fast free Wi-Fi as their number one top priority in a hotel. And what is a cruise ship? A giant hotel on water. Travelers ranked free Wi-Fi higher than a good night's sleep. That's insane. But more importantly, millennials love to be connected. It's what we do. We literally check into every cool thing that we do. Plus. It's 2017. Have you never heard of Snapchat? 85% of daily US Snapchat users are between the ages of 13 and 34. And 18 to 24 year olds make up the largest segment of Snapchat users coming in at a whopping 37%. And 25 to 34 year olds, they make up 26%. And that's just Snapchat. Can you imagine the numbers for Facebook and Instagram? We love social media and we love creating content on their respective platforms. And we content creators need high speed internet to Snapchat our friends, connect with others, and grow a fan base. We also wanna consistently upload fresh daily content for free. Every day, for free. If we're on your private island, give us free Wi-Fi. And if we're in the middle of the ocean, give us free Wi-Fi. Imagine millennials Snapchatting their friends as soon as they walk on board your cruise ship to show them how awesome it is. Going Facebook Live with an excursion with the ship. Or sharing breathtaking photos on the beach for Instagram and tag the ship in it. But no, now we're waiting until we get back home, back to our busy lives, with our busy jobs, and maybe posting it then. Which is super lame. Can you imagine going into Starbucks, buying an Ariana Grande, unicorn latte, extra sprinkles, organic cocoa nibs, mocha chives from Narnia, a little bit of almond milk, then you try to use Snapchat, only to recognize you have to pay for internet. Ridiculous! Complete <laughs> 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 Who knows that? Nobody! <sighs> it's hot in here. <laughs> a little messed up. Number two. All about health and fitness. Oh, absolutely not. We are on vacation. No fitness. This is where I draw the line. All right, honey. But the numbers do not lie. According to a recent survey, 77% of millennials would like their workout at the gym to be as interactive as possible. Another 44% of millennials believe the traditional gym as we know it today will evolve by 2020. By offering more community-driven interactive classes on a cruise ship, classes like Orange Theory, HIT, or CrossFit, led by certain certified instructors would really help cater to this need. Yeah, we love to go on vacation, but we don't want to say screw it and let all of our hard-earned progress go out the window. I don't have abs yet, but like I'm working on it and they'll be here soon. Food. Hey! <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But anyway, that brings us to food. Number three, go healthier. Repeat after me. Unprocessed, local, fresh, grass-fed, unique. According to GFS.com, 84% of millennials said freshness is most likely to influence their food and beverage purchases, with 41% actually saying they'll pay more for that freshness. Millennials also say that words like local, natural, authentic, and premium influence their food buying decisions. A great start is actually prioritizing different types of eating styles. And I'm not referring to French, American, or Italian cuisine. Though the carbonara on a Carnival Paradise is so damn good. I would risk my life for that carbonara. If they said jump across this eight foot cliff for a free bowl of carbonara, the boy is jumping. Michael freaking Jordan. Are you done? Seriously, Carnival, if you're watching this, go ahead and send me like a doggy bag to my mailbox. We're referring to paleo, vegan, and vegetarian restaurants. According to new figures from the Vegan Society, the number of vegans in the UK has risen over 350% in the last 10 years. And veganism is on the rise in most Western countries, particularly for those under the age of 34. And in the United States, 
Meat consumption has fallen 15% in the last year. Basically, good healthy food makes millennials happy. And listen, just because we want healthier food doesn't mean we want it to be boring. Not roasted veggies or salad, couscous or gluten-free bread. We want cool, dedicated restaurants like Margaritaville or the Seafood Shack. Vegan lasagna, veggie burgers with a roasted tomato chutney. A paleo chicken bruschetta sandwich with yuca fries and garlic aioli. That sounds really good. That sounds really good. <laughs> I would awesome. like to eat that for dinner tonight, actually. <laughs> really cool food besides a glorified buffet. Number four, longer times in port with overnight excursions. Ooh, can I do this one? Choose a destination. Um, how about St. Kitts? Okay, guys, close your eyes. Imagine cruising to St. Kitts. You've purchased an overnight St. Kitts villa excursion. You are picked up by the ship's taxi service and dropped off at your exclusive villa in St. Kitts. It includes a waterfront view, own personal hammock, a retractable roof, dining room, a private outdoor tub. At your exclusive villa, you have an array of activities to do. You get to go snorkeling, jet skiing, tan on the beach, and take some awesome Instagram photos. And when you get back on the ship, you can share them immediately with your friends back home, all in one day. But it gets better. For dinner, the island is having a party on the beach. They're grilling fresh fish, vegetables, fruit. The live band is amazing by the bonfire. And the moonlight shining on the ocean waves really sets the mood. Or you can opt out to a romantic candlelit dinner date on the beach with your spouse. Same awesome experience, just a little more private. Your checkout time is tomorrow at 10 a.m. The ship's taxi service picks you up. Open your eyes. How awesome does that sound? Please, somebody, take my money. You see, millennials want to experience the beach, experience the vibe of the island, experience the town and everything has to offer more than a quick pit stop. We want to jet ski, go horseback riding, scuba dive, but we need a little bit more than half a day to do so. It gives us a chance to enjoy things much longer than just stopping at the beach for like four or five hours. Another idea is partnering exclusively with top-ranked Airbnb houses, villas, and lodges. You get the benefit of not missing your ship because Excursion is partnered with Airbnb and you get to do something really unique. Which brings us to our final point. We want to do cool stuff. Listen, the not so newlywed game is an absolute classic. But watching Guardians of the Galaxy 2 as soon as it's released can be pretty cool too. Tanning by the pool is great. But tanning by the pool and then going skydiving is even more awesome. Yeah, so we got to see the beautiful island of Jamaica for three hours and we want to stay so much longer, but we have to get back on the ship. But staying overnight in a private villa would be so much more epically cool. Seriously though, I feel like Scrooge McDuck with a bag of gold coins. Like someone please take my money if this starts to be a thing. You're probably wondering why would millennials pay for any of these things for complaining about free Wi-Fi? Because charging for Wi-Fi asserts in our minds that you guys are Still living in the Stone Age. It's really big boats. But in addition to upcharges on specialty dining, higher priced drinks, it just feels like you're trying to make a quick buck off of us. Let's seriously think about it. A 2014 Harris survey found that 72% of millennials prefer to spend their money more on experiences rather than material things. And if these cruise ships are charging for basic things like Wi-Fi, stopping at the beach for half a day, offering a glorified buffet, and your idea of fun is a macho man contest, followed by a tap dancing concert, to the soundtrack of Grease. I like Grease. Just sounds like we could do better in the epic fun department. But don't worry, there are some ships that we think are perfect for millennials right now. But we'll save that for our next video. Hey guys, that's all we have for this episode. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, whether you're a millennial or not, let us know what you think millennials want in the comment section below. Yeah, let's keep this conversation going. We would love to hear what you think. Oh, bonus tip. If you guys really want to know how to connect with millennials, you're going to need to stop calling us millennials. Let's start calling each other future friends. How can we start helping our future friends enjoy cruises a little more? Griffin's out.